I was a little bit on the fence about this one, and I'll get to all that and the reasons why. But uh, this is Stalker Anomaly Custom. A mod pack with, as you can see, some quite impressive visuals. It's pretty early morning, uh, and so we'll get to see it in all of its glory in a bit. But this is a mod pack for Stalker Anomaly. It's a bit of a vanilla-ish experience. Uh, they actually built this mod pack based off of Expedition, which is how I first experienced Anomaly. That's on the channel. And that's like a really great mod pack for kind of a vanilla plus Anomaly experience. Um, there's some pretty good audio in this as well. Uh, for what I've seen, this, this seems like a solid mod pack. We've got some interesting HUD elements going on here. The mini-map, I kind of like that, how that looks. And so this is a bit more hardcore than regular Anomaly, but I still feel like it's probably easier than Gamma or perhaps EFP. I'm going to go ahead and equip all my stuff. Oh, nice, there's animations for that. That's actually great. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's pretty cool. Oh, man. Hold on. <laughs> so you actually have to pull your bag out in order to uh, go to inventory. Get our PDA equipped. We got a lighter. So I didn't start with much. I did the hardest settings as, uh, you know, as one would. So I got the, uh, a Fort 17 pistol, 30 rounds, one AI-2, one bandage, one pack of smokes. I will go ahead and bind this to F4. There's um, third person models, which I think actually change depending on the backpack and whatnot you have, which I actually really like. So I started as a duty member, which is something I've never done. We are cloud duty. <laughs> so first impressions, this is the first time I played it. I haven't even like loaded in until now. So I'm getting like pretty good frames, about the same as Gamma, which is pretty impressive considering. Uh, so we're just going to check this out today. If uh, if you guys really like it, you know, I might make it into a bit of a series. But uh, regardless, I am going to be starting the original trilogy soon. So this isn't going to be a long drawn out thing. And hopefully nobody's like too upset that I'm even playing this, because there's a whole lot of uh, controversy surrounding this game, this mod pack, um, and for pretty decent reason, I'd say, like, they have a Discord where you can download the mod. There's ways around that. You don't have to join their Discord. Uh, I didn't. I was able to just find a download link on Reddit, of all things. Their Discord's filled with some pretty distasteful stuff, from what I heard, and so obviously, like, I don't condone that type of, sh like, you should not, I don't condone any type of hate towards any group of people like it's just dumb it's a low iq behavior let's be real um but you know this is a mod pack uh it's free i'm not supporting these guys by playing this and if it does upset you and you want to check this out there's an alternative it's called hazy's custom mod pack uh it's made by ukrainians i will admit they're they're a bit more friendly about how they go about uh presenting their mod but i'm not here to talk politics or any of that i just wanted to show off uh, what I think might be a pretty cool modded experience of Stalker. Uh, so anyway. Oh wow, this UI is so small. Jeez. It's because I'm in 4K. I'm gonna have to probably get a mod to increase the size of the fonts anyway. Oh yeah, so we can just buy guns. We only have 4,000 rubles. Before we accept a bunch of tasks and get started here, there is a pretty big feature. Um, if you hit K by default, you have a class you can pick. You can sort of spec in their skills in this. Um, so this is something that we're definitely gonna check out today. So there's Sniper, Trooper, Heavy Infantry, Monster Hunter, Bounty Hunter, and Assassin. And they all have their own little stats. Uh, you get weapon skills, outfit skills, different resistances, and some like special perks for each of these. Pistols, SMGs for the Assassin. I think I'm honestly... Do I go for Sniper? I kind of like it. Because of the speed, you know? And the radiation resistance. I love me some sniping. We get extra speed, but we can carry 10 kilograms less, which is quite a bit. We're gonna go, we're gonna go sniper. Yeah. Oh my, okay, so there's actually, <laughs> there's a skill tree as well. These are some pretty sick perks. This is kind of cool, I like this. I always feel like Stalker is a lot more, well, let's not get ahead of myself. The mod packs can be a lot more fun with more sense of character progression. That's really, I, I really like the passive skill bonus that a lot of the mod packs have now. It gives you so much incentive to, uh, to just kind of grind, you know? Nothing feels like a waste of time. I think to start, Okay, yeah, okay, I spent a skill point into pistols. Oh, these are all skill trees. Oh, each, all, okay, so you have four skill trees. Oh, this has got some depth to it, actually. All right, so defensive, less radiation from food, less fall damage, burn chemical shock resistances. I think we'll go for radiation first. Let's go to endurance, what do we got? So we can reduce the weight of food, more stamina from water, 
you get better speed if you don't have a two-handed weapon. Let's get more stamina from water. I feel like that could be pretty useful. All right, last skill tree is speech. So you get a discount on food and water. Companions have better resistance, better sell price for mutant parts. Okay, we'll probably do that. All right, there's a respec. This is kind of nice, actually. I like that. Let's get our PDA out. And there is task board. Uh, we got statistics. Everything's pretty much what you would expect here. The guy, the radio. So far, no crashes. Everything's been pretty smooth, so that's good. I don't like how much the uh, PDA sways while I'm trying to read it. Neutralize, bandit, and garbage. Maybe we go for that. I don't know. We just need to start accepting a bunch of these, I think. Kill a bandit in truck cemetery. We might be able to do that. Kill more bandits in truck cemetery. I really don't want to go to truck cemetery, but we might have to. So let's go ahead and accept that. Neutralize, bandit, and garbage. No time limit on that. We'll accept it. So we are playing as duty so we're only friends with clear sky ecologists and military so the mercenaries the bandits the monolith and freedom are all going to be our enemies this time around so it's not going to be too easy we need to get some of these missions done and uh, get some money i'm thinking we'll uh, we'll go to garbage first yeah the atmosphere is pretty good there's a lot of contrast and i hope that doesn't make it too dark on youtube so i didn't do much as far as settings I just turned off anti-aliasing and uh, the SSAO because the reshade takes care of all that. Whoa. Uh, okay. Mutant just got killed. These anomalies look really nice. Yeah, the, uh, no complaints with the visuals. No complaints at all. This looks good. We'll see how the combat is. There is dismemberment in this. Oh, God. What is that? I... Oh, yeah. hold on. How do I quick melee? Oh, okay, that's not it. Um, hang on. Oh boy. Okay, okay, okay. How do I, I don't know what my quick melee is. Yikes, I don't want to waste ammo on these guys. Do I even have a knife? Hang on, did I start? I did not start with a knife. Oh my gosh. Wait, that's crazy. There's an anomaly right there. Um, I think I'm gonna just try to run. I didn't even realize I don't have a knife, man. That's. That's pretty terrible. Let's just go for it. We have plenty of stamina right now, so we're not really carrying anything. Plus, we got a uh, movement speed buffs from our sniper class. We should be able to just hop on out of here. Okay, here we are in garbage. Yeah, really digging the visuals, man. We do have faction identification on. The HUD is nice. Um, okay, there is vaulting. Can confirm. I'm guessing... I know the bottom bar is my stamina. The top bar is probably health. I don't know what that middle bar would be. Could be psi or radiation, maybe. Oh, since this is anomaly, I can actually see... Regular stalkers can... Uh, yeah, they can sell stuff to you. Yeah, a lot to take in here. I mean, the... the ground textures are... Pretty on point. Uh, we'll check task board for these guys. Herbivorous mutant... That's for the butcher. We'll accept that. Bandit and cordon, we can accept. Okay, we do have body, body dots on the map. So any dead bodies we can see. Because all of our missions are down in the south. There's a ton of bodies over here. I should probably go over here and see what, see if I can scrap some loot from this. Oh, getting some. Okay, it's doing the stutter thing that it did at the start of my last series. Uh, let me see if I can fix that real quick. Settings, what fixed it last time was vertical sync. So we're going to want to turn that on and apply. And yeah, it's fixed. Okay, cool. I do miss having the zoom. I do not have the zoom function the game has. Of course, it could be probably be added. One issue I have with this is uh, all of the mods in the mod organizer are in Russian. And so it's really hard to to know what you're looking at. It'd be, it'd be really hard to customize this if you don't know the language. Um, okay, nice. We got a squad of duty members here is a dead clear sky member a gun on the ground what is this a pp 2000 yeah nice we can loot this guy he's got some ammo for us some money nine mil water four leg there is auto loot okay uh we do have a good trigger in this can i i don't know if okay so the gun modifying might be a little different there is gun parts this has a trigger in it but i cannot field strip it um and then of course we got a broken pp 2000 but we can go ahead and equip that i guess there we go oh man that is it oh wait radiation 
I got a radiation symbol down there. That doesn't look good. <laughs> We've got some more dead guys here. The an SKS on the ground dead. Holy. All right. We're getting some loot. 9x18, 9x19. Uh, AK-74 PMC. This is a totally decked out AK. Huge. Let's grab it. How much can we carry? I'm not even sure. I don't know if we need masks. I don't know if the repairing is as in-depth as Gamma. I imagine not. Let's equip that. Oh, man. Oh, nice. And in the bottom right, shows you picking stuff up. I'm already almost overweight. Oh, that's not good. You can drag bodies. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was saying there is dismemberment in this. I don't know how it works. It's probably like certain calibers and whatnot. Okay. It's got basic tools. <laughs> um, right on. That seems really good, but I don't know if that's uh, as important in this. Yeah, my stamina is just dropping. I think that's from the radiation. I'm very radiated. Hold on, let me check these last few bodies and then we need to get, we need to run. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Okay, hold on. Hold up, we got problems. Uh, let's smoke. Oh man. Getting a bit too radiated. There's no like indicator for my radiation. Okay, I'd love to search this body. I just gotta quit smoking. Okay, this smoking animation's a bit longer than the gamma one. All right. Um, yep. Take all that. I'm too encumbered to move, really. Okay. Um, yikes. Okay, let's drop a couple of guns in. There's a shotgun there. I do want that. Dead mutant, need a knife. Okay, let's just get out of here. Because I think I might be dying. Oh, my stamina. Do we need water? How are we doing on water? We're good. Okay, so we have all of our stats. Everything got kind of moved around here. It's going to take a bit of getting used to. What is this? Drug recipe. Okay. Some free crafting recipes for some meds. I love that. Okay, I'm hearing some creepiness going around. Okay, here we're at the train hangar. Very dark in here. Totally out of stamina. Okay, let's go to this box. Okay, let's just drop off a bunch of stuff right now. Okay. Yeah, we cannot carry much. I don't know why I'm hearing such creepy noises. Is that because I'm low health? Hang on, let's run over here to this fireplace. Hey, yo! Okay, haven't done that in a while. Lit myself on fire. Matchbox is required, really? Okay. That might be a bug. Not sure. I have a lighter. It says uh, a full lighter can usually light up 20 cigarettes. Okay. So, yeah, so I have that. Add to wheel. Oh, that's right. So any item you have, you can add to wheel. Whoa, that was weird. Okay, so it slows time, which is kind of cool. <laughs> oh. The, the lighter is a light. Okay. I see. That's cool. Uh, right, so this isn't good, though. I think I'm going to die. This fireplace should get rid of the radiation, but it might be a bit... It might be too extreme. We don't have any matches, so that's not good. You got any matches, bro? No? No work you want done? Okay. All right, so sitting by the fire seems to be stalling my health loss. Uh, and it should be removing radiation, but this could take so long. I guess I could try drinking some water. Might as well. It's something. Go ahead and check task board while I'm waiting. Deliver a package to duty in Rostock. That's pretty doable. Don't know how heavy it'll be. We'll see. 2.3 kilograms. Okay. Eh, it's not too bad. All right, nice. Radiation is yellow. Could run over to the butcher real quick and just see if he sells matches. I don't think so, but it's worth a try, honestly. Uh, he's got some sick guns. Uh, what else? Yeah, not much. Okay, let's sell him these parts. Get a thousand rubles for that. Nice. Can we get a knife? 15,000 for a good one. 8,000 for a bad one. 4,000 for a pretty bad one. We need this. It's super crap, but we have to have a knife. Okay, and he does not have matches. Well, that's too bad. We did get a knife, though. We definitely need this. So now we can skin some mutants and uh, we'll be able to sell those parts. Okay, radiation is finally gone. That took forever. Um, our health is pretty full, so we should be good. Let's continue. We got a mutant or something out there. We got a bandit faction right down the road here. I guess let's go for them. We'll, just, we'll get into a little bit of a combat here and check it out. I might adjust the lighting settings a bit. Because, you know, for YouTube, I think a little bit more saturation and a little bit more brightness. Just a touch. That'll help with the visuals for you guys. And I think it looks a bit nicer that way. Vortex anomaly? Wow, I didn't even see that. Okay. Okay, they see me. 
I only saw one. Oh, he's so far. He, I think he's alone, though. Let's get this tree. Whoa, combat music? Yo. <laughs> what the heck? Hold up. That's sick. <laughs> oh, that looked nice. Okay, I hit him there. There's two bandits. Is he creeping in the bush? Buddy. I see you. Oh, I can't see him now. Alright, I think he's down. We gotta reload. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. There we go. Solid hits there. He might be down. Let's push up. Oh. Oh. There's somebody else. Let's fall back. Oh boy. Let's reload again. <laughs> the combat music is obnoxious. <laughs> I have to... Oh, I have to turn this down. <laughs> okay, music volume. Let's turn this down. Okay, it got quieter. Oh, I'm popping him. You should be dead. Oh, he's dead. Let's go. Okay. What what do we think of that, boys? That was kind of lit. <laughs> I did not expect combat music. It was a bit loud, but I turned it down. That was nice. Um, what do we got here? Okay, body. What do we got? Magazine. New, this is a new magazine. Different kind of magazine. So it's not just Playboys anymore. <laughs> See what this guy had. Some ammo for us. A PDA. Mutant parts. Let's check this last guy. Oh, a Mosin Nagant. Thank you. Alright. There we go. Three bandits dead. Mission complete. I will say the UI and, uh, the, I mean, the com it felt pretty clean. If I had ammo to waste, I'd just shoot this thing more. That It felt nice. What do we got over here? We got a herbivorous mutant. Needs killed. As well as... Some more bandits down at the end, so let's run over there, take them out. These anomalies look wicked. Oh, hey, yo, yo, okay, hold up. Um, all right, well, this isn't, this is not ideal. Yo, whoa, I'm almost dead. Holy. Okay, and I'm radiated. What the hell? Okay. Oh my gosh, all right, we have to med. Yikes. We didn't get any matches, did we? No, we did not. Ah, oh, that dude hit a hell of a shot on me. Am I even healing? I don't think I am. I used the med. I think the radiation is canceling my heal, which is just really sad. <laughs> what the hell, man? Ah. Uh, all right, we have to fall back, regroup. That was pretty awful. Let's uh, let's go sit by this fire again. Oh man, right, let's put the Mosin away, the PB. All right, picked up a PDA. Can we? Yeah, we can view this. Is there a stash on here? Nope. All right. We still have one use on our first aid. I guess we're going to need to use that. Let's see if it actually gives us some health. Okay, so it does, but the region is just very, 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 very slow. This is pretty hard. Yeah, I'll be the first to say. This is a bit hardcore. Now, obviously, if I had some better gear, I think the difficulty would fall off quite a bit. But I can I can appreciate how hard it is. I don't know what we're gonna do about food though. We're gonna have to turn in these missions. It's because we have a package to deliver, and then the, we could turn in two things in Rostock right now. Um, I'd really like to finish these last two though, so we're gonna attempt it again once I get my health up. All right, we got 60 shots of FMJ. Let's head back out. We'll try this again. Whoa! Oh God, I ran right into that. <laughs> that could have been death. Let me know what you guys think of this in the comments. Try to refrain from the political stuff behind this. I mean, just to put it in perspective, like, I, ha I didn't have to see any of it to get the game. It's not in the game itself. There's no messages in here talking about this or that. Uh, I'm, I'm purely looking at this as a mod pack for Stalker. That is what it is. There's no agenda behind it, and there's no agenda behind me uploading it. So, you know, if it upsets you, I understand. But that's not what 
I'm making this video for. But I do want to know your guys' thoughts on it, so let me know. Um, well, let me take a look at the map here. Maybe we need to take out the bandits first. We'll just avoid that mutant, whatever it is. So let's take the road here, try to get closer to him. Oh, man, the sounds, the bushes, everything. Okay, he doesn't see me yet. Do not want to run into these anomalies. Okay, yeah, there we go. Bandit trainee, let's take him out. Whoa! We one-tapped him. I think there's more. Oh, yeah. Couple of good hits there. Slow down. Chill. Got him. Let's go. Still another one somewhere. Let's reload. Oh, he's flanking around. Unfortunate for him, I can see his direction in the mini-map on the compass here. Let's move back. Oh god, no, don't do that. Oh shit, I about just killed myself. Uh, I do not have more meds. Okay. There he is. Shit, he's not dead yet. Dude, I ran right into the anomaly. That did so much damage. Oh, it sounds like he has a high-powered gun, too. Hits. Those are good hits. Where's he at? Where's he at? Oh, there he is. He's down. Let's finish him off. I'm not taking any chances. There we go. Neutralize target for Petrenko. Got it. Okay, watch out for that springboard. Let's go around that. Oh, man, hopefully I can get some meds off these guys. Got a TOZ. Okay, grabbed it. Armor repair kit, some other supplies. The combat music's a little odd. I don't know if it's something I'll keep on, but it's a cool feature. Search this guy, okay. Another SKS, I don't think we like really need this stuff. Can I, let's unload them? Oh yeah, definitely need to remember to do that. Okay. Ooh, okay, that SKS I will take. That's a good one. I hear a- oh, hello. Flesh. Okay. I don't know if we really need to take them out. The mutant we need to kill is over here. I'm very low health. My dude is just groaning in pain. It's quite terrible. Oh, wait, this is the mutant for this mission. That's why it's marked red like that. Okay, so we actually have to go to way out here. Oh, now I'm radiated. Oh, wait, no, yeah, that- oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> this is rough. I need some matches, man. I have smokes, but I can't use them right now. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Okay. Yeah, the struggle. The struggle is coming. I can feel it. So let's go back. Let's drop off the stuff we have. Sit by the fire, get rid of the radiation, and then we'll go kill that mutant. And yeah, somebody's shooting out there. Might be worth third party in that, seeing what's going on. There's a dead bot. Oh, hello. Um, loner? Dead. Oh, dead. Tashkano. Oh, nice. They got the uh, skinny animations in. Not bad. We'll take that. So what else do we got over here? Uh, one, two, three, four dead bodies on the map. Go see who it was or what it was. Might all be mutants. Yeah, another Tashkano. Nothing useful. Okay. okay. Here's the last one. Oh my. Nothing useful. Okay. That was a big waste of time. We'll say the movement, uh, the movement feels really smooth in this. A bit smoother than Gamma's, honestly. Gamma has a little bit jarring movement, I'll admit. Uh, but this seems pretty decent. We're really low health. No meds. Uh, could get some health back if I sit by this fire for a while. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe get up to half or something. So it looks like health is tied directly to stamina. If you're really low health, your max stamina seems to go down a bit. Oh, we got some pistol animations. Nice. I don't know what the key, if there's a keybind to do those manually. Got about 60% health now. Let's go fight this mutant. It's a little bit spooky. Okay, here we are. What, what do we got? I don't see anything. Oh. Nope. Hey. You. Flesh? Wait, I have hollow point. Let's load that in. Got him. Sweet. Okay. That was two missions. Two and one. 
Well done. Here's a reward. Hey, did I? Oh, they got a uh, auto task completion. 10,000 rubles. <laughs> okay. Huge. Got a flesh eye there. Yo. Okay. I like that. So I, I've been told about it in the past. There is a mod out there for Stalker Anomaly. I don't know the exact name of it, but it's like auto task completion. Task auto complete, something like that. And it does just what you just what you witnessed. Uh, basically, it, I think you can customize which types of tasks it auto completes, because obviously you may not want it to do all of them. It wouldn't make sense if you like auto completed a delivery task and didn't actually have to deliver a package, right? But uh, but for stuff like that, it does. I've, I've said it in the past. It kind of makes sense that you know you accept a task from the task board in the PDA. It's all done electronically. Kind of makes sense that you'd be able to you know get the money transferred over to you and everything also electronically. Obviously in the zone, I don't think people are wiring money and using crypto accounts. But for the sake of gameplay, I think it works really well. So I, I am a big fan of that. And we are radiated again. I, I swear these mutant parts are radiating me. Hold on. It doesn't like say it is, but I feel like it is. Because I didn't get radiation. Oh, fuck me. Oh my, I did it again. <laughs> oh, dude, I really can't see it. <laughs> the foliage is like moving so much. Yeah, it's hard to see those. Okay, let's chill by the fire. Oh, we got a stash. Hey, cash near base. Um, that must have been for the task completion. So maybe stashes do work similarly to Gamma. We also have one in Agriprom here. A little bit hard to see. Um, and then we got three missions to go turn in up north in Rostock. And we have a bandit that needs killed. We got 43 hours left. So I don't know how I feel about the time limit on these, but 43 hours is pretty generous. Um, but I'm wondering, I I'm guessing it will fail the mission if you don't complete it in that time frame, which will hurt your goodwill. It seems like you need to be a bit more intentional with the missions you pick up in this mod uh, because you don't want to just pick up everything and then not complete them. It'll end up doing more harm than good. Okay, radiation's gone. Let's talk to the butcher since we have a little bit of money now. Uh, how much are these guns? Okay, the guns are pretty expensive though. 68,000 for that shotgun. 53 grand. What about these? 32 grand. 40. Okay, so this seems like you're going to get a lot of money, but everything's really expensive. I guess I don't really mind that. Oh, I have a job done for him. Oh, let's turn this in. There we go. Okay. Oh, we only got 2,600 for this one. I wonder why the duty are paid so much more. I don't know. I, it's going to take a bit of just playing to understand the economy in this. It does feel a bit different. Well, I say we grab all of our stuff, which is too much. Hold on. <laughs> Maybe we leave. Let's just get to where we can move. Still too encumbered. Really? 32 out of 29. I'm encumbered. Can I skill? Can I expect? Oh, okay. This looks different. So offensive has went up. Defensive went up. We do not yet have a skill point unlocked in these, but I'm guessing I'm getting XP. I'm assuming defense is, is like taking damage. Probably levels this up. Dealing damage levels this up. Running around for that and then talking to people. Duh. I guess that makes sense. Uh, still too encumbered though. Let's drop off this. Okay, I can move. Uh, we could take everything else back to Rostock with us. Yeah, I'm going to bring the shotgun and AK and see if we can't maybe fix one. Figure out how all that works. Ooh, okay, so there is fast travel in this, but it costs money. Um, you can right click and get fast travel costs. It'll cost 5,600 rubles to fast travel there and 5,500 to fast travel to the bar. Okay, so I'm assuming it just has to do with distance. So maybe we don't fast travel as much as I'd like to because <laughs> we have no stamina. I'll do it the old fashioned way. We do need all the money we can get right now. Man, just listen to the ambience in this. Just hear like distant thunder, which is odd because it's actually a pretty bright sunny day. <laughs> a little bit of fog. Maybe we go to the flea market actually just to see what they sell. I kind of want to, kind of want to get more of a feel of the loot tables and see what kind of stuff we have available to us. And they sh this shotgun model is nice. We have some uh, buckshot. Yeah. Okay. These reloads look good. Like. I mean, this just, this looks good. Let's see, we got our AK. Got a couple bullets for that. Oh yeah. Information to sell. Oh yeah, we can sell the uh, PDA. There you go, 1600? Oh, he's got the uh, the TOZ-34 Bison with a scope on it. Oh man, he sells all kinds of good stuff. It's a bit relieving just knowing I can sell all kinds of stuff. Oh, we have, oh, 
He has matches. 1200? Sorry? 1200? For five matches? You're robbing me. I really need it though. 10,000 for a first aid kit is crazy. All right, well, not much for these guys. I don't think I'll be able to do any tasks like fetch quests for them. I guess I'll look. Um, this guy wants flesh meat. Yeah, I mean, we kind of need it, but I'll go ahead and turn this in. Wait, who wanted that? Oh, you're joking. He's at the hangar. Gosh dang it. Okay, we got to go back. Hold up. This is so crazy. Um, dropping these guns. The stamina is absolutely bonkers. Okay, we can at least run. Yo, can you come down here? It would save me so much trouble. <laughs> Gosh dang it. Oh wow, going upstairs kills stamina. What the? Elevation of climb or descend. Your stamina either regenerates or goes down really quickly. Give me something good here. Wow. Yikes. Terrible. <laughs> 500 rubles for that flesh meat that I really could have used, honestly. Uh, let's take the quick way down. Hopefully don't break legs. Ow. Okay, sounded like I broke my leg, but I think I'm fine. Let's pick those up. Okay. All right, now we uh, are back on the struggle bus. We will waddle our ways back to Rostock. Oh, what is this? Deliver a package. Uh-oh. Task by a stalker to deliver a package. He's coming towards me. Oh, no. This dude's traveling here. So whenever I travel to Rostock, he's going to be here. Oh, man. Okay. This is going to be a bit annoying. We've got a box over here. Let's break this open. we got some money. Nice. The animations are on point. They did a lot of things right with this mod. Some of it does seem to sort of slow you down. Like this PDA equip and unequip animation is quite long. Having to take out your backpack every time you want to access inventory can uh, slow you down also quite a bit. But the good news is, you know, in, in stalker anomaly fashion, all of these things are customizable and you don't have to uh, keep any of those features if you don't want. You just have to do a little bit of looking through the add-ons section and you can pretty much find all this stuff in here. Anyway, let's go to Rostock. All right, we are in Rostock and my goodness, the fog has rolled in. This is an atmosphere right here. And yeah, the, the crows in the background, just the wind, the, the, the crackling of like tree limbs and whatnot. They do really good atmosphere sounds without atmospheric music, which is what Gamma does, which I love. That's one of my favorite features of Gamma is just the constant, really good just audio tracks that they play. A lot of them from other games too. But this is, uh, yeah, this is just like another approach to, to, to setting the atmosphere and it Honestly, it does just as well. I've maintained about a 70 FPS average, I think. Uh, I probably should have mentioned this at the beginning of the video. I am running this on a 3080 graphics card, the 10 gig, as well as a i9 13900K. Uh, sounds impressive, but honestly, it, this game's so weird. This engine's so old. Like, it doesn't even seem to matter <laughs> like what kind of specs you have. I think if you have anything better than a 1080, you're going to get similar performance. Oh, wait, yeah, let's just see. Did that guy... Oh, my God. Oh, you're killing me. Look at this dude. He's coming back now. Okay, this is the guy I want to deliver a package to. Okay, hold on. Isn't there a box over here? I need to like store some things. I would drop stuff on the ground, but I think these stalkers will grab my stuff. Is there a oh, yes, a box. Okay, hold on. Let's drop this, drop this, drop the plate. Okay. All right, let's go run down the road and meet with this guy before he changes his mind and goes back to garbage. Okay, see, so like, how am I not regenerating stamina while walking right now? I'm so light. I've got 18 kilograms on me out of 29. I'm 10 kilograms below my max. Who knows, man? Hopefully that levels up. All right, which one of you? I think it's this guy. Ah, it's a female. Okay. Got something from your pal. Slava Al. Okay. 3,800. Some vodka. Okay, so it's, I'm going downhill now. Stamina bear. I think the uh, elevation really makes a huge difference in stamina. It's almost a bit too, too much to me, but that might be customizable. It just seems like if you're running uphill, it doesn't even matter what your stats are. You're, you're just going to lose stamina really quick, which is fine. But I don't know, when it comes to like stairs and things, it's a bit, a bit annoying. Now we're hungry and thirsty. I guess that's probably affecting my stamina as well. The stamina system in this reminds me a lot of EFP and how it worked there. Let's see, I think I can do it in Gamma. Yes. Okay, we got it. All right, we're out of stamina, but that just saved us a lot of time. 
But anyway, yes. If you if you didn't mind how uh, sounds, okay. Yeah, if you didn't mind the stamina in EFP, because it was a bit extreme for me. Um, this is pretty reminiscent of that. Okay, job done. Eighteen hundred for eliminating that target. That's pretty bad, dude. Um, oh yeah, and also since we are duty, they might have their own bit of a custom quest line. I'm not really sure. Let's see what he has for good old Cloud Duty here. I'm ready and able. What are your orders? Duty's current priorities are twofold. We need volunteers to carry out important missions. We have reason to believe an influential stalker has returned. The general wants brave men to track him down. Uh, okay, let's see. Who needs our help? Meet with cold. Okay, so this is probably like an endless line of side tasks, I imagine. But they kind of act as main tasks. I think talking with the general will be the duty act, like the actual duty quest line. This mod does have hideout furniture as well, so crafting your own hideout is an option. Which I feel like, honestly, all the mod packs these days, for any of the free roam style, you know, free play player choice type of mod packs, that is a absolute must. Job's done. Weird that he had a mission that wasn't just wanting basic tools. Equipment needs tweaking. Okay, yeah, what, is, what about the repairs here? What can we do? Okay, so to repair this, that would cost 90,000. Jeez. Okay, that's expensive, man. What about this? Uh, 40 grand. I mean, you might as well just buy a new gun <laughs> at that point. To repair my pistol, 2,500. Okay, I mean, that's not bad. Uh, the mask, 1600. The armor, 1900. Okay, this is all pretty... Those are reasonable. To repair a fully broken gun, man, there's got to be a better way. I feel like we can probably do a bit of the work on our own. Hold on. Can I use his... Need permission to use vice. Okay, so the vices are not free. Yeah, so I'd have to pay him... Yeah, a thousand rubles. I could use his vice and perhaps repair some of these guns on my own, but I am going to need... I don't know. I haven't found any weapon parts yet, so I wonder if I... I bet if I disassembled this... I would get the parts out of it. What? Not gonna do any of that yet. Right now, we need to come back here. Oh, I'm out of stamina. This is so rough. Okay, we have a box back here. Let's drop all of everything that we don't, like, seriously need. Get rid of these. Okay, we are at 10 kilograms. We can move around. Yeah, we are good. All right, let's go to the bar. We need to fix this food and water situation. It's getting pretty bad. Oh, bit to vandal. He done it again. Poor guy. There's a lot of people in here, man. Holy. Oh, there's purified water behind the counter. I might have to cop that. I need that. Thank you very much. This is probably copyrighted music, so I'm going to try to probably turn that down. All right, fuel cooking kit is 4,300 for three uses. Yikes, dude. That's expensive. Uh, let's buy that. Let's buy water. Um, All right, we're about to just blow some money here. 6,700. It'll leave us with some left over. Uh, we need to probably find a fireplace. Let's go do that. Let's go over here. A oh, nice, this one's already lit for us. Okay. All right, let's get our bag out. Use. Huh? Okay. That's a bit bugged. Maybe I'll use this fire? I need to eat, man. Ah, okay. Don't stand on the fire. Use. Okay, it's not working. Oh, no. It's not going to let us cook with the fireplace. I wonder if that's bugged. Should definitely be able to stand by a fire and cook with it. All right. Unfortunately, we're going to have to buy charcoal. Another 2300 down the drain. At least we can do all this on the fly now. All right. Well, we're going to do stewed because that removes a lot of the radiation. So let's cook that and we'll cook this. Mind your guys' way. Sorry. We'll cook both of these. Okay. Wait, was that all my water? It was. Oh, geez. We're going to need to buy more water now. Yo, this guy looks sick, though. It's got the ghillie on. Dude looks like the predator, man. We spent about 10 grand just to get three meals and some water. I guess that that works out. Uh, we'll eat the Toscano meat. It's not great, but it's something. The flesh meat will give us a lot more satiety. Wait, that eating animation was kind of nice. Hang on, let's look at that again. Oh, yeah? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. I'd say that's a better animation than what I've seen in the past. All right, we're no longer hungry. Drink some water now. One swig will do us. Okay, our stamina should be much better now. Uh, this guy wants two matches. We have 10. I'm going to turn it in just to get maybe some stash locations. I actually just remember to. I completely forgot to check the stash in garbage. It's a bit of an oof. Well, we have about half our money left. We should... Probably spend that on repairing our armor. 
equipment needs tweaking. Let's tweak it up. 1600 for the mask, 2000 for the armor. There we go. Our gun is at 78. God, 2500 to fix that. Okay, we're getting kind of broke now. Uh, but if I can catch this pistol before it gets below 90, I can use this gun oil to repair it next time. Could spend like 2500, add five kilograms of weight carry. This might be super worth doing. Yeah. Okay. We can now hold a max of 34 kilograms. Let's turn in these two matches. I'm really curious to see what I get. Probably not much. Don't know why dude wants two matches. I mean, holy hell. He's got a, oh my gosh. He's got a PKM or is that a PKP? I can't tell. Job's done. 300 rubles. Done. Dude's just shredding on the guitar. Love that. Okay, let's go down and talk to the general because that would be the beginning of the duties quest line. General Veronin. Petrenko said you're looking for men to track down some stalker. Indeed, difficult times have come. Emissions are frequent and devastating. The miracle machine and brain scorcher are active again. The monolith relentlessly attempts to expand their territory, but an old ally, a legendary stalker, who had almost managed to defeat them all, returned. I knew him as the marked one, although his true name is Strelok. While he was not a member of duty, he was a determined warrior and one of the few to assault the CNPP, which is the Chernobyl power plant, and lived to tell the tale. After all this time, he may possess the secret knowledge required to destroy the zone once and for all. Find him, or at least learn what he knows so we can provide the manpower and resolve to achieve that goal. I'll track him down. Okay. Okay. Living legend, old friend. So this is the same like starting quest as if you were a loner. So both of our missions are now in the Great Swamps for the duty. But I believe this is going to probably follow the exact same quest line as if I was playing as a loner, except I'll just be playing as duty instead. Could dabble around with that. It's all going to kind of depend on what you guys think about this mod. Oh man, the sunset is awesome. It all looks so good. I really need a flashlight. <laughs> I wonder if I have to be tired to sleep. Let's go find out. There's a few, there's, I'm just testing things still. Still in the testing phase of this mod pack. Should be a bed right here for us. Sleep. Okay, yeah, seems like we can sleep if we want. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. We'll sleep till 6 a.m. I don't want to sleep too long. It's going to make me so hungry. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, we'll be fine. Oh my, what is this? Yo, okay. They didn't have to, okay, they're just flexing. What the hell? That is so cool. And you can see a live feed, all the messages, everything. Whoa. Wow. What the heck? No way that they just did that. I okay. I did not expect that at all. That is really, really cool. And I imagine it's different for every single, you know, bed you sleep in. Probably picks a different point of interest of where it kind of focuses the camera. For this one, it's the arena. Damn, dude. That was so cool. Um, and then we got a live feed. We got to see everything, everything that we, you know, otherwise would have missed overnight. Don't have any more charcoal or anything. Yeah, we're just gonna have to buy food. Oh my gosh. Did you guys all sleep in the bar last night? Holy hell. Life of the stalker, man. It's crazy. Let's eat this. We'll drink some water and then uh, we'll be able to set off for our second day in stalker anomaly custom. This has been the first impressions of stalker anomaly custom mod. I, I I gotta say, you know, I like it, and I really have no problem disregarding who it came from. I can appreciate a good mod when I see it. I got a little over two hours recorded here, and I've had zero bugs, really, zero crashes. Uh, frame rate's been good the entire time. Gunfights feel pretty cool. The, the quality of life, the HUD, all that works really well. The skill system is pretty nice. We did get another endurance thing here. Let's just do more stamina from water, I guess, for now. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. All in all, my impressions on this, I mean, I really don't have, I don't have anything negative to say about it. I do wish that the people that made it were, uh, you know, not so narrow minded. And, uh, but you know, that's not really my business, to be honest. That's how I feel about it. And I think they did a pretty good job here with this mod pack. If you guys want to see some more of this, leave a like, give me some comments. Let me know what you think of it. I'll leave some links in the description for this mod pack, as well as the alternative mod pack it's basically the same but it is managed by a ukrainian discord but i'll just leave the links in there for you guys to to pick up the mod if you would like and installing it is quite simple it has its own installer um i would honestly recommend checking out cheeky breaky he made a really good video on it that's what i used to install it uh, everything worked fine that is all i have for you guys today subscribe if you haven't welcome to all the newcomers i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out